Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I'm going to continue with exploring the wonderful world of cloud video production with TriCaster Now, focusing on getting local files up to the cloud to use in your TriCaster Now productions, and also back down to use those files that you create in the TriCaster Now locally. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So, I am on my desktop and I'm running TriCaster Now. So let's go ahead and bring over that interface, which I have in my nice DCV window here. And let's go ahead and full screen that. And let's get this off and running. Okay, so completely blank session here. So uh, again, what I'm gonna show you today is how you can uh, upload files to your TriCaster Now instance and then bring them back down when you need them. Okay, so uh, the first thing I wanna mention is within the nice DCV clients, if I get my mouse and go up to the top of the screen, you'll see that that uh, pull down shows up. And this is where you're gonna have your menu to uh, do exactly that as far as moving your files. Okay, so over here in the top left, you'll see an option for storage. So if we click on that, this will bring up a file storage menu, uh, which will allow you to basically send files to the TriCaster now. So uh, we can do, uh, do an upload uh, file, or we can say, let's add a new folder, which I'll do for now, just for today's example. All right, cool. And then uh, if I click in uploads, now I'm within that folder, and then I can upload a file to it. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. I have this one file here. Go ahead and update. And then if I put my mouse back at the top, you'll see that I have a notification here at the top saying that I have some files uploading. This was a kind of a small file, so uh, if it was a bigger file, you'd be able to see the percentage of uh, how this goes up, etc. But basically now it says, there it is, there's my file, good to go. Okay, so uh, now within the TriCaster, let's go ahead and let's dismiss this, All right? That way I don't have that one up there at the top, but that just to let you know that you, you did something. Okay, so uh, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab that file. So uh, now that we're in the uh, TriCaster Now interface, where did that go? Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly where that goes. Uh, so let's go and we'll go file import media and I'll make sure that my clips are going to DDR1 and let's add that clip. Okay, so from in here, let me click on browse and show you the file structure of where this goes in the cloud instance of TriCaster Now. So uh, basically where this, uh, where those files are gonna go is if you go to your D drive, not the C drive, but the D drive, Delta drive, uh, you'll see that I have two folders in here and there's one for sessions, which is where all of our sessions are gonna go. And then also session storage. And if I double click in here, Boom, there is that folder that I created. All right, so uh, again, that's the, the file path for that is gonna be D and session storage. Okay, and now from here, let's just go ahead and grab that file. Cool, and let's import it. Small clip, so nothing fancy. Okay, cool. So I have this clip of these gentlemen over here, they're doing maintenance on something. So uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create something within the TriCaster now, uh, record a little clip, and then bring that back down uh, to my local machine. Okay, so let's first, let's configure my recording. This says mix 1-1, we don't wanna do that. Let's say uh, virtual set building. Okay, cool, so now let's go through, and like how we would on a normal, TriCaster, just create a virtual set effect. So uh, in my mix effect number one, I already have a virtual set going on in here. So let's go ahead and bring that onto my program and preview, all right. But of course, uh, because I have this set up a certain way, I need to make sure that I am keying their source out. So let's go to my DDR settings by clicking on the gear icon for that. I'll go to image, open up keying key that and then let me grab this color picker and pick this green boom all right cool all right now let's zoom this in a little bit 
All right, this is like a very simple virtual set thing that I'm doing here. This is just for, you know, for an example for today. So cool, they're, they're working on something. We'll, we'll, we don't know what. Okay, so uh, got my recording configured, got all that configured, cool. So let's go ahead and just record a quick recording of what we're doing here on screen. Nothing fancy, we'll do like 10 seconds or so. All right, that's enough. Cool. All right, so now we have uh, that clip ready to go. So now let's go ahead and uh, send that back down to our local machine. All right, so what we should do is we'll go to export media here, and let me configure this. So yeah, we'll do the H.264. Again, uh, on the TriCaster, you can make this uh, pretty much anything on this uh, drop down here. So uh, let's just keep it as H.264. Cool, good to go. All right. And then we'll go into export media. Let me add that clip. There it is. It's under recents. And select that. Okay, good to go. And let's go ahead and export that to that. Oh, actually, let's go back into export media. Make sure we're sending it to the right spot. Oh, as you can see right here, it is sending it to this folder. Let's go because I think I deleted that before. We'll go into session storage and we'll just put it into, uh, we'll put that also into uploads. All right. Okay. So go ahead and export it. Cool. There it is. All right. Now let's go back into DDR just so I can show you that that's actually been done. So uh, again, I'm in my D drive, session storage, uploads, and there's the virtual set building clip that I have created. Now, something I'd recommend doing here, uh, just to kind of make your life a little bit easier, is because uh, right now, like I said, I went to the browse window and had to go and navigate to this. But what if we just click on the plus button and add that particular folder to my media location. So now I can just get to it easy. Bam, it's right there. So uh, instead of having to go to browse, I can just go to the bottom here, go to my media locations. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. So there it is. All right. But cool. That is just getting the clips in here. So now let's go ahead and bring the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, bring those files back down. Now, uh, also something I wanted to mention is uh, I was doing this uh, procedure as far as like your uploads and downloads from here uh, within the TriCaster session, but you can do that from with wherever you are on the TriCaster Now side of things. If you're in administrator mode, you could do it there. Uh, it doesn't matter really what window you are. This basically just pushes it to that drive location. Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring that file down. So we'll go back up to the top left, click on storage, and uh, you'll see that when I bring that up, I'm currently in that uploads folder. And there is the original file that I sent up there and the one that I just created. So to get it down, now all I have to do is right click on it and download it. Cool. And then you'll see at the top, I get a notification saying that I am downloading something. And there it is. It is downloaded. So let's go ahead and show it in the folder. Open up uh, Windows File Explorer and boom, there it is. So you can see there's a file that I sent up there, and then here's a file that I brought down. So very cool. Now uh, that's just showing you how to do this within the uh, TriCaster Now itself. Um, but uh, also I wanted to mention there are other ways to get the files uh, off that machine and into your infrastructure locally. Uh, so for example, you can use like um, uh, Microsoft um, OneDrive. Uh, you can also use like a, a your a Google Cloud, um, Dropbox, et cetera. There are many ways to uh, have this done. I'm just showing you directly from the TriCaster Now interface uh, how to get that done. So uh, I'll be showing that in other videos down the road kind of thing, but we're gonna keep it simple for today. So as you can see, some really cool things that you can do with this by sending files up and down uh, to the TriCaster Now, allowing you to create your shows remotely, which is awesome. So play around with it, and of course, have some fun. Woo! There you have it, another helpful step in producing your shows in the cloud using TriCaster Now. I'll be diving into the TriCaster Now more in the future, so be sure to subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official. And you can find more information about TriCaster Now and other VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or visit our website, vizrt.com. 
And you can also get professional product training with VizRT products by signing up for Viz University at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And if you're posting your work on social media using VizRT products, hey, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or 3Play. We absolutely love seeing what you're working on. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.